Hey guys, one fun fact. Did you know that somewhere on the classic A320 is a Ford hydraulic system? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yes, we have it. And? It is called Auxiliary Low Pressure Control System. Now we know that it controls something. But what and how? Let's start with how. What we need for hydraulic system? First thing is place where we can store the fluid. For that we have here brake control hydraulic reservoir. You can find it behind the first officer pedals. Then we need power source. And in this case it will be me by pressing pedals and from there power will be transferred to the brake control master cylinder. And of course we have two of them. One for left and one for right pedal. And I assume that you already starting to know what is the system for. But let me finish. Next we're gonna need some pipes, which will transfer the fluid and these leads all the way to the right main landing gear compartment where it connects to the alternate brake distribution dual valve. And I guess all of you already know, but if not, it controls alternate brake system. And if you wanna know how brake works, click on the pop-out banner above for the video which I already made about the brakes. But let's go back to our topic. In the cockpit you can find brake yellow pressure triple indicator. And this one is very important for the pilots. Because on this gauge they exactly see how much pressure they are applying to the left leg brakes and to the right leg brakes. And of course they also see how much pressure remains in the brake pressure accumulator. Information for triple gauge indicator are coming from three different pressure transducers. Here we have two of them. One on the top is sending information about the pressure from the left and one on the bottom about the right landing gear brakes. And the hydraulic pressure transducer we can find on the brake manifold. And since we know all components, let's take a look on their functions. And let's start with the master cylinders. And as I mentioned before, they are located under first officer pedals. They have dual purpose. First of them is control of the distribution dual valve of the alternate brake system by displacement of the volume of the fluid from the chamber C1. And second is provide artificial feel at the pedals by means of internal spring and the load resulting from the pressure that increase in the control circuit. Now we know the function, so let's take a look what will happen when you press the brakes. As you can see, we displace hydraulic fluid from the chamber C1. All the way down, I felt the pressure against me thanks to artificial feel and the pressure raise on the triple gauge indicator. Probably you're asking yourself a question, why we have only one set of the master cylinders when we have two sets of the pedals? And I have an answer for you. Pedals which cover rudder and brake controls are interconnected between the captain and first officer. And that's why on this classic A320 we have only one set of the master cylinders. And by the way, only these controls are interconnected because side sticks are fully independent. This was just fun fact, but if you want to know more about flight controls, let me know and I'll make a separate video only about this topic. And let's go back to our brake system. Displaced fluid from master cylinder continues through these pipes to alternate brake dual distribution valve. And for easier understanding, I'll show you how it looks inside. As you can see, both systems are completely independent and motion from one system to another is transferred by rocker arm. In neutral position is pressure from yellow system blocked by sliding valve and hydraulic fluid from the brakes flow to the return line. This was neutral position. Now let's take a look what will happen when I step on the brakes. Displaced fluid from the master cylinder will push the piston down which through the rocker arm will move sliding valve up. This will allow yellow hydraulic fluid flow into the brakes. Now we know what will happen when you press brake pedals and let's take a look what will happen when you release them. As you can see master cylinders are spring loaded which means that if you stop pressing the brake pedals the spring will push piston up which will extend master cylinders. This creates vacuum in the system and it draws fluid back into the master cylinders. The same principle also applies to the dual distribution valve. As you can see in both chambers we have pistons which are spring loaded as well. So that's mean when I release the brake pedals, hydraulic fluid will be thrown from the low pressure chamber by suction from the master cylinders and with the help of the spring, piston will be pushed up. 
This motion will move rocker arm and help spring in the high pressure chamber to push sliding valve down and this will block the pressure line and the connect brake line to the drain line. This way will release pressure from the brakes. Last component about which I want to talk with you guys is a brake control hydraulic reservoir which you can find behind the first officer pedals. The reservoir supplies the master cylinders and the support system in case of the changes of the volume of the fluid and in case of possible leakage. Inside the reservoir we can find spring loaded piston which keeps the pressure stable in the system. Of course we need to monitor volume inside of the reservoir. That's why the piston end must always align with the green band of the fluid level indicator. If you find it in this position, level is correct. All these components are part of hydromechanical controls of classic A320 alternate brake system. But in 2006 Airbus launched Adhance program for A320 family, which uh, have a target to uh, improve efficiency by for example replacing of the wing tips by sharklets and of course a weight loss which uh, includes removal of the hydromechanical control and, rep uh, and replace it with the electronic control which is called alternate brake control unit uh, which uh, improve reliability and system operations. Another upgrade for example regarding hydraulic was uh, removing of the steering from the green system and adding it to the yellow system. But let's focus on the brake system. All components which was part of hydromechanical control was removed and it's probably most visible in the wheel well bay where we move from this to this. And as you can see all what remains is alternate brake manifold on which you can find pressure transducer which sending information not only to triple gauge indicator but also to the ABCU and BCU. And instead of alternate brake dual distribution valve, we have alternate brake manifold which are installed in the both wing shroud boxes. On each manifold you can find yellow brake pressure transducer which sending information about pressure in the brake system on each landing gear not only to triple gauge indicator but as well to BCU and ABCU and function of dual distribution valve taking over alternate servo valve which receiving inputs from ABCU which correspond to the pressure necessary in the brakes. Next we'll take a look on alternate brake control unit. The ABCU is located in the right hand avionic bay and ABCU controls and monitors the alternate brake system with or without anti-skid protection. When alternate brake circuit is activated, braking control is provided by ABCU, but anti-skid protection is still provided by BSCU, which sent anti-skid order to ABCU. And by the way, braking steering control unit, BSCU, is responsible for normal brake operations, but about that I will tell you next time. ABCU is also responsible for emergency braking. When emergency braking is activated, the ABCU inhibits the anti-skid protection and maintains predetermined level of braking even when the brake pedals are fully released. Big change happens under pedals as well. All hydromechanical components was replaced with electromechanical, which is called alternate brake pedal transmitter unit. It has two mechanical assemblies and the case with two electrical connectors and it is installed under captain pedals because under first officer pedals we have brake pedal transmitter unit which is responsible for outputs for normal braking system and on classic A320 it is installed on the same position. Both of them transmit the manual braking inputs, just alternate brake pedal transmitter sending information to the ABCU and normal to BCU. Last change in this compartment is on artificial feel, which was in form of springs inside of master cylinders under first officer pedals, were exchanged by spring rod assemblies, which we have now installed under both pedals. Well, this is all what I want to tell you guys about the Ford hydraulic system of A320. If you have any other question regarding this topic, please write them down in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Tomasz. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zetor. And I'll see you next one. Bye.